Hey everybody, welcome to my workshop. In today's video, I wanted to share with you five tools that I can't live without. Now many years ago, back when I was maybe 15 years old, I had a workshop at my parents' house that really consisted of some very small tools and a very restricted amount of tools. So my dad's not a woodworker, so he didn't have a whole lot of different things. So I learned how to do many things with one tool. So that's what a lot of this project is based on because of my history with just utilizing one tool and trying to do a ton of different things with that one tool. So let's go ahead and get started. So these are not in any particular order, but tool number one is a drill. Now, a drill can be so many different things. This is just a simple 18 volt drill. It's kind of got some age to it. It's not these newer styled ones, but yet it does the job. So really a drill, an impact driver drill, or anything really that you can use to drill holes or to put screws in is a must have. Now you don't want to go the most inexpensive one unless you're just going to put screws into a wall. You really want to do something that is going to be able to drill a hole through a board. You know, if you get a one inch drill bit in your drill, you want to have enough power behind it to drive it right through that board with no problem. Another tool that I find I cannot live without is really kind of more than one tool. Can you guess it? It's clamps. You can never have enough clamps. I try to carry a lot more of the longer ones because with the longer clamps, you can always make them smaller. Yeah, it might look a little ridiculous, but you're not spending as much money for just buying a bunch of little ones. Now, I do have some little ones for some small projects, but for the majority, I'm into these 12s and 18 inch ones because you can cover a wide assortment of um, thicknesses when you're trying to clamp something, but they are a must have in your workshop. Okay, so another must have is the handy table saw. I've got a Porter cable. I've had this thing for probably about four years and I've really had no problems with it. Um, but regardless of what you do, you need a table saw. This is the one tool that I find there's so many different things that you can do with it. With this tool, you can make a sled and with the sled, you can do cross cuts. So you can really avoid having to ever use a miter saw at all. But on the note of a miter saw, my miter saw is my number four tool. That's a must have. And the reason why I put this as a must have is because sometimes you just want to turn around and chop a piece of wood off real quick without having to turn your table saw on and it honestly takes a little bit longer. Now you might wonder, do I really need a really big miter saw? Do I need a miter saw at all? Well, you don't really need it because like I've said, you can use the table saw and make a sled to do miter cuts. But the table, the uh, miter saw comes very handy when you're wanting to do angles because this is the one tool you can quickly set it if you've got it all toned or all tuned in finally and you can set it to your angle cut it and move, keep moving in your project so this is a must have for me in my workshop and lastly for me in my workshop i have really come to like something that i've only used for maybe about six to seven months and that is this glue bottle <music> This thing is very good. It almost works kind of like your uh, turkey baster or your gravy separator if you're in a kitchen. When you squeeze it, you're pushing glue up this nozzle. Um, because I don't know about you, but you always have the notorious problem. When you go to buy a, a bottle of glue and you go to use it, sometimes when you get down to where you barely have enough, you got to just to get the glue out. Now, the comment and suggestion has been made, well, just make a device to store your glue bottle upside down. I have a big problem with that because what happens is you do that, sure all the glue's at the bottom, but you go to take it apart, you pull that, you just all of a sudden got this glue coming out at you. It's kind of like a ketchup bottles in your fridge. You always get a little, little bit of ketchup that comes out every time you open it because they sit upside down. So I'd prefer not to do that. This glue bot is perfect. It's super cheap. If you don't have one, you know, buy one, buy two or three. I'm going to put a link in the description for that because guys, this is the easiest and the most funnest thing to do. You could buy the full gallon of glue, fill it up as you go, and then you got it set. You always got glue at your disposal. It doesn't harden or crack um, because you've got the little rubber cap on the top. So this is a must have in my workshop. So if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. What's your top five tools that you like to have in your workshop and things that you couldn't live without? If there's something I missed that maybe is a good thing, leave it a comment below as well. But I really hope you consider subscribing if you already haven't. And be, please be sure to uh, check out all my other videos and hit the little notification bell when you just subscribe because if you don't hit that, you're not going to get notified of every single video that I've put up. And 
you want to know these things. So if you enjoyed this type of video, let me know as well because I like doing these little tip videos versus just doing woodworking all the time um, because it does change things up. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you next time.